Hi guys, this is Tupé and welcome to Tribe. It was a night of poetry, dance and music as poets and poetry enthusiasts alike checked out the recently held Ponton de Poets or Spring of Poets. Each year, the Alliance Française du Manil prepares a treat for poetry lovers and francophiles, the Pont d'Arme de Poète, or Spring of Poets. Well, it's to celebrate poetry. You know, uh, many Filipinos uh, are poets, or either they write poetry themselves, or they love to hear poetry being read. With this year's theme, Couleur Femme, or Color of Woman, Women didn't take the back seat or just become the poet's muse. They themselves were the poetesses alongside their male counterparts. Every year there is a there is a theme. Last year it was about love. This year is about women, women as poet, because uh, they consider that women are, are, are more the the muses of uh, poet, but they are also poet and they write and they. They do, uh, they, they do uh, beautiful things with a special sensitivity, so, uh, so they wanted to, to celebrate women this year. This project aims to uplift women's contributions in the field of poetry throughout the course of history up until the present. Respected personages in Philippine society and foreigners alike share their talent and passion for the written word. I'm going to sing uh, uh, a poem that I wrote. I wrote also a melody for it. It's uh, entitled Lainang, which means uh, uh, melody. It's a poem in uh, Pangasinan. Uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to help resuscitate Pangasinan literature. Literature because uh, there's hardly anybody writing now. You know, young writers are uh, trying to write both in English and uh, Pangasinan. Uh, I'm one of the older writers who have been uh, writing in English but uh, are now trying to write in our native tongue. Poetry recited or danced or even sung. There are more than a number of ways to express the beauty and essence of the poems they presented. I will not read a poem. I will sing a poem. A gazal in two senses. Gazal as a, as a song and gazal as a poem. Because I'm doing song icon of Pakistan, Mehdi Hassan, based on uh, a poem of Mir Takimir, a 17th century poet. For some of the participants this year, reading someone else's works wasn't enough as they themselves composed their own poems inspired by their personal experiences. I like myself to compose poems and that's the reason it's in fact my second time uh, for that uh, exercise and I like that because it's bringing together Filipinos, foreigners, Swiss, French and uh, it's a festival of poetry but it's also a festival of liberty uh, uh, to express imagination, nice moments especially when uh, with those uh, singing uh, French songs. It's uh, very nice to hear French songs so, uh, Sung in, in Tagalog. Inspiring performances and heartfelt poetry, it was enough to encourage the audience to create. The artistry of the written word passed on from one individual to another. Oh, so far, so good. Oh, it's a very exciting thing. And, and this one started with uh, with uh, varied, uh, varied, uh, varied renditions. I think the event was very moving uh, in all the languages that were express today, Filipino, French, even in the other languages, everything was moving. First time to attend an evening event of poetry. It's usually day, day event. Siya. So it's a new thing for me, new scene. Poetry, music, and dance in a complete circle. As this year's Pantown de Poet comes to a close, one could only hope that next year's would end up on the same joyful and artistic note.